Hey guys, what is going on there tonight? Uh, just got done watching Ghost in the Shell. Was gonna try to film this in like some sort of pretty scenic location, but uh, apparently I've come down with like a case of diarrhea or something and constantly feel like I'm about to shit my pants right now, so I'm gonna be able to stop at a moment's notice. But yeah, we're gonna go on the pack openings here. Open nine more packs this time. Talk about some ghost in the shell. Uh, hopefully don't any, try not to give any spoilers about it right now, but who knows? If it happens, it happens. Um, it was a hell of a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I was expecting extreme disappointment in the movie, and instead I got enjoyment, and uh, yeah, it overall made me happy. Uh, know nothing about Ghost in the Shell. Um, fucking, that's the only thing I've literally ever seen anything to do with it was the Cinema Sims video that just came out the other day. The everything wrong with the Ghost in the Shell the anime. Um, I feel I need to watch it now. The movie, the original one there. Because um, from everything I saw in Cinema Sims, this almost looks like it was just a direct copy of everything that happened in the anime, but yeah, it was actually really fucking good. Um, the story's really good, it drives you in. Uh, it feels, I think it was like an hour and 45 minutes longish, and it felt shorter. Um, you don't get upset while you're there. Ooh, 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 what do we got? Ooh, fuck. We have got a full trainer, Lily. Or a full art. That is a nice looking fucking card. Yeah, the bottom edge is a bit stuck on it, but that is a nice looking card. Uh, like I said, I haven't watched anything about it. I know there was the whole, everybody was upset about whitewashing and casting Scarlett Johansson as major. Like I said, I haven't seen it to know anything about it. Scarlett Johansson does a good job. Um, though I feel like the direction on it sometimes is weird. Um, the only thing that ever ever dragged me out of the movie, her fucking walk was goddamn retarded. But then sometimes it would be perfectly fine. Like, they told her sometimes, like, oh, walk really awkward in this scene. And then other scenes is like, what? Back-to-back -back full arts? Holy fuck. I knew the back half of this box was going to be really good. Didn't expect back-to-back -back full arts. Oh, and that's a secret rare. 150 out of 149. Oh, shit. That's fucking nice. Uh, the guy that fucking plays, um... Oh, what the hell is his name? Hatu or Batu or something like that. Looks like fucking, uh... Oh, what the hell is his name? The guy that played, uh, Jack Bauer. Mixed with his character from, uh, The Lost Boys. It was a pretty cool movie, though. Um... I definitely would recommend going and watching it. Um, yeah, the ending leaves you satisfied. There's, you don't get to the end of the movie and you're like, oh, that fucking sucks. Like, it ends and you're like, okay, that was a dope ass movie. Let's see back, Clock of Rock, and nothing. Uh, visually, it's really pretty. Um, the only time it gets really bad is the end action scene. It gets way too dark. Um, you start having issues trying to keep track of what's going on. Yeah, one, two, three, four. But other than that, it's really well shot. Um, the action kind of reminds me if you've watched uh, Equilibrium or Ultraviolet. Kind of feels like that. And then the uh, world is very Blade Runner-esque. Not that I've ever finished Blade Runner. Um, it has that Blade Runner Fifth Element vibe to it, you know, giant advertisements everywhere. Shit just hanging out looking cool. And nothing. Yeah, overall it's just a really good movie. Um, Scarlett Johansson's really good. The fucking uh, director of Section 9, he's fucking badass. Going on a killing spree and shit. I don't get how the government works in the movie. That's not ever explained well at all. Um, 
I know from what I gathered from Cinema Sins watching it, like I said, I haven't watched the original, but it's uh, supposed to be like there's no real nationalities anymore. Everybody's doing all this mech shit to their bodies, which is a really good parallel for what's coming up here in our soon future for us as humans. Because eventually they are going to, we are going to all have the option whether or not we want to be cybernetically connected to the internet at all times. I know I'm not a fan of that because hacking is definitely going to be a major issue of human bodies at that point. And I don't want my body hacked. Unless I'm going to look like Scarlett Johansson after having my body hacked. Her, uh, her fight scenes uh, film, it, whoever did it, Oh, and a nice GX. If you've watched any of her stuff as a Black Widow, her fight scenes are very similar to that. They're uh, natural enough looking. She doesn't do all the quite as much of the spinning, throw people around, and it makes more sense in this because she's a cybernetic being, so her being able to beat the shit out of people makes sense because she's not really a person. I don't know. Definitely go and watch it. Um, even if you're not a fan of anime or that type of thing, it's just a good action movie. It's not as good as John Wick because there's still a story to this, but... And two can. Last pack. Yeah. It's a good movie just to sit back and enjoy. And then I don't know. I'm weird sometimes with movies. I kind of prefer movies like this where I don't have to do a whole lot of thing and the story is just kind of explained to me. Is that the same card? It is, okay. So that's the non-full art version of it. What are you doing, Psyduck? Are you in a fucking uh, Van Gogh painting there just hanging out? You look too confused to be in such a beautiful setting. Also, compared to that bridge in the back, he's like 12 foot tall. And we end with nothing. All right, but we're not gonna complain. We got our secret rare GX Primarina. Like that's kind of a gay-looking thing, but and our Fort Lily. Tomorrow I'm hopefully gonna go climb a mountain and finish the end of this. And then I got the Evolutions box back here. I'll try to find weird places to open that at, but. Um, in the meantime, go and watch Ghost in the Shell. Uh, I think it's not going to be... I don't think theaters are going to be too packed for it. The theater was busier than when I saw... Um, what the fuck was it last week? Power Rangers. This one was actually in the big screen with uh, 3D and all that shit. Also, if you don't need to see it in 3D. Um, there's only a couple parts where the 3D really works and does anything. Other than that, I wouldn't bother with 3D unless you just love 3D. That just happened to be what was showing at my theater, so that's why I saw that. But yeah, go and watch it. It's good. Um, and like I said, you don't need to have ever watched the anime to enjoy it. They do a good job explaining the story. They don't just throw you in to this world that you're already supposed to know what it is. They just, hey, here's an origin story and a base story. I don't know if they can do sequels to it. I don't know if there is a sequel to Ghost in the Shell. I'd like to see another movie of it, though. But yeah, I'm going to hop off here and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.